Place the V2 in a stable and easy to operate position. Place the cable guide that matches your cable. If it's larger than 9.5 mm, do not use a guide. Lift the spring-loaded cable positioner and place the cable into the V2. Mount the jet seal on the fiber cable. Place the jet seal in the jet seal slot. Attach a cable head to the fiber cable. Insert two cleaning plugs into the duct. Use the fiber cable to push them into the duct. Mount the over duct clamp. Tighten with the clamp bracket. Ensure that the air valve is closed. Attach the air hose and turn on the compressor. Tighten the drive belts with the belt clamping lever and add air. Wait until the cleaning plugs come out the other end. Close the air valve. Disassemble the duct clamp and pour a few millimeters of micro duct lube into the duct. Insert two cleaning plugs into the duct and reassemble the duct clamp. Add air and wait until the cleaning plugs come out at the other end. If you are using jet logger, connect it to the jet logger socket on the V2. Insert data for your fiber installation. Press power on the V2 and press start session on the jet logger. Deactivate the emergency stop and adjust the air regulator to achieve maximum pushing force. Push the joystick forward to start cable installation. Speed and direction are now easily controlled by the joystick. Maintenance. Always keep your V2 clean. Check the oil on the machine every day. Refill only with Jetting Pneumatic Oil 32. If the string seals in the duct compartment are worn, replace them with new ones. If the machine is not in use for a few days, the motors must always be lubricated. Refer to the instructions in the V2 manual. We wish you success with your V2. For more information, contact your local jetting distributor. Jetting. Dare to do it differently.